Okay, Charles LeBlanc here. 8.30 in the morning. I'm starting to get pissed off. I'm not a morning person, but uh, this thing here, I'm just... I'm confused. Okay. This young girl that got killed, hit by a car in Kingsclear. There's a new gas bar, and uh, she... Um, uh, the new gas bar is located right beside the old Trans Canada Highway, and that's good. They built that uh, that community. There was a an old an old gas bar in Kingsclear across across the road, but they decided to shut that one down and build it across the highway. And there's no lights. There's nothing. I I seen it last spring and. And I see natives running across, running across, and I find it a little bit, and he says, somebody's going to get killed here. And sure enough, unfortunately, somebody did. But one thing I don't understand is, uh, okay, everybody is in mourning. A young native girl got killed, hit by a car, tra it's, it's a tragedy. And uh, mother of three kids. Sad. You know, so everybody is focusing on her life, you know, and uh, she was a great person and uh, it's too bad, like anybody else that dies. Now, the government. News release from Denis Landry, the Minister of Justice. Denis Landry, that, uh, that laugh at people walking home. When you finish your sentence in St. John, Miramichi, they force you to walk home. They don't drive you back to Fredericton. Uh, Google Matt in the storm, especially natives. Now get this. An inmate under custody with the provincial correctional system died following a fatal crash pedestrian pay this I'm not even going to start all over again. A citizen collision uh, on September 7th after having been given an early release. They said she got hit by a car. The sentence would have expired at midnight last night. The inmate, inmate, the 27-year-old Alicia Paul was at home under early release conditions. I wonder if she was forced to walk home. The highway collision is being investigated by the RCMP. As with all deaths of a person in custody, this will be also in, be investigated by the coroner services. This information is being released in accordance with the Department of Justice and Public Safety Policy regarding the death of an inmate, inmate in the custody of the provincial correctional system. Well, Denis Laudry, you should be ashamed of yourself and you're showing your true colors with the Brian Gallant government. Uh, why is it so important to say that she was an inmate? Uh, she should just be ignored. Uh, you're Denis Laudry and the Brian Gallant. I'm getting upset here. I better take a drink. Denis Laudry and the Brian Gallant government. They murder people behind bars. I'm sorry, they say, well, Charles, you're at the extreme. They're murdering people behind bars. People are being killed. Uh, Tyler, uh, Tyler Sweeney died in a provincial jail in Shidiac. Oh, no coroner inquest, no nothing. Uh, Caroline Warnock, she was begging for her life <clears throat> in the Miramichi jail, and she died, 27 years old, died dead. No coroner request, no nothing. So, Brian Gallant, you should be ashamed of yourself to when people are in mourning about a, a, a young native girl that died and you just released that she was an inmate. You know what? You could go, uh, don't say it, Charles. My God. What? Racism? You damn right.